Hi, Dr. Eric Lund here, your local Roseville and St. Paul chiropractor, specializing in short-term care for your neck and back pain. And the topic for you in this video is related to neck pain. And we probably all know what it's like to have neck pain and that limited uh, movement and range of motion that it causes can make things like you know, backing your car up or reading or working on the computer difficult or impossible to do. And there's some common things that will, will cause neck pain. Uh, and we're going to discuss three of those in the video for you. So one is muscles, uh, one is the disc, uh, and one would be related to arthritis or degeneration. Uh, so there's many muscles in the neck that can cause neck pain. And again, uh, this could be from like a one-time or one -time trauma, like being rear-ended in a uh, motor vehicle accident, or it could be uh, generated, or those muscles could generate the pain from uh, an overuse type injury. And one of the most common things where muscles get overused is, is if you're a seated worker and you work on a computer repetitively. Uh, and some of the most common muscles that will cause neck pain would be uh, the upper traps, uh, a muscle called the levator scapulae. So it's important to have those muscles uh, evaluated and treated if, if you're experiencing neck pain. Uh, the second structure would be the disc or disc injury. So between each vertebra in your neck we have a disc. Uh, it acts as a shock absorber. Um, and within the disc there is a jelly-like substance. And so if the outer part of the disc tears, that jelly can start to leak out, uh, which can cause inflammation. It can irritate the nerves. Uh, resulting in pain. So generally if you have disc symptoms, uh, you could have neck pain, you could have pain along a shoulder blade, you could have radicular symptoms into an arm, uh, and generally with uh, disc symptoms oftentimes extending your head backwards is going to make it worse and flexing your head forward may give you some relief. And then lastly the degeneration or arthritis. Basically as we age there's fluid within the disc and that fluid can start to dry up. And when that does, that's essentially what uh, degeneration or arthritis is. And so that'll cause the joints of the neck to lock up and that will cause uh, pain. So again, arthritis and degeneration uh, are used interchangeably. So again, if you are experiencing neck pain, uh, spinal manipulation positively affects the muscles, it positively affects uh, the discs, and it unlocks those uh, joints related to arthritis and degeneration. Uh, so if any of those are, are causing your pain, there's a good chance that a short trial of treatments, anywhere from uh, two to five visits, uh, has a good chance of significantly improving your neck pain. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.